After 15 months of dark theaters and live streaming performances, two of Chicago's most famous performing arts companies announced they are returning to the stage for live performances, this time under one roof. Brandis has more on this story. So Brandis, many of us will be able to guess which two esteemed companies we're talking about. Fill us in. Yeah, of course, uh, and it would be easy to guess Paris, but leaders of Lyric Opera of Chicago and the Joffrey Ballet are calling each other roommates since the Joffrey will be the resident ballet company at the Opera House this season. The two companies announce a full slate of live performances with seasons starting in September for the opera and October for the ballet, and subscriptions to both are already on sale. We were even treated to a small live performance from both companies during this morning's announcement, but we weren't allowed to film it. Right now, though, you can get a look at video of the Joffrey's famous production of The Nutcracker, which hasn't been on a stage since 2019. It's one of five productions the Joffrey is presenting for this coming season. Though the Joffrey has been offering live virtual performances over the last 15 months, keeping professional ballet dancers on point without a season has required extra effort. They are finely tuned athletes and that you know, spending their summer in their kitchen and living room trying to stay in shape is one thing. But really to, to, to run a race, you need, you need the, the space. It's really helped push the company to stay, you know, at the top of their game. You know, even if they're not ready for the full race, they will be come the fall. Here's a look at a couple of those virtual performances from the Joffrey that have kept those dancers in shape and working since last fall. The two companies announced plans to share space several years ago when it was supposed to have started in the fall of 2020, but of course, the pandemic put a stop to that. The Joffrey had been performing at the Auditorium Theater for years, but artistic director Ashley Weeder explains why this partnership just makes sense. A business model which works for both of us um, this is a state-of-the-art theater. I'm backstage, it has everything that you could ever want. So, you know, whereas before we were always having to load in and load out every single piece of equipment, now everything is here. We walk in the door and we are ready to go. Now, the Joffrey and the Lyric did collaborate on a production of Orfeo e Eurydice a couple years ago. In Paris, I did ask if there might be another joint production like that in the future. Not this season. Everyone is being conservative with their revenue and expenses coming out of the pandemic, but perhaps down the road. Both such great theaters, the Auditorium and the Lyric, and it's going to be great to see that wonderful theater, the Lyric, uh, have uh, activity. So, Brandon, so w what can visitors expect to see when they go back to the Opera House? So to start, everyone gets a better seat. While the theater was dark, it allowed time for the company to install all new seating throughout the theater. They're more comfortable, can confirm, uh, and there's a staggered layout for better sight lines. There are also wider aisles and therefore better wheelchair accessibility. And in response to keeping COVID at bay, there are other changes. For example, Lyric says it's keeping their operas to two and a half hours about, and they're skipping the traditional intermission. There have been a few judicious cuts to the music, but not too um, severe. Um, but it seemed to us to be important that when we are asking people to buy tickets and have their confidence restored, um, that they should know that the normal milling around in crowds during intermissions won't be taking, taking place uh, through the fall. Lyric says ticket holders will also have the option to live stream performances if they should purchase purchase a ticket, but then for whatever reason they feel it's unsafe for them to attend in person, they can watch it at home via the live stream. And this is also the first season for music director Enrique Mazzola as the Lyric's conductor. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, Paris subscriptions for both companies went on sale today. Back to you. Very well done, Branson. Mazzola's debut long anticipated because he was on this show a couple years ago when he was introduced as the new uh, director there. All right, thank you very much.